my pleasure to present our next speaker, Congresswoman Ileana Ross Layton of Florida, one of our longest and very strongest supporters. Please welcome her. Well, thank you uh, very much, uh, members of the Falun Dafa organizations, uh, friends of uh, Falun Gong, champions of human rights in China and indeed across the globe. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for the opportunity to speak before you today about such an important issue. As many of you know, I have had the privilege of addressing this peaceful gathering of Falun Gong activists for several years now. Yet sadly, sadly things appear to have worsened for our brothers and sisters in China. These communist thugs have a particular interest in repressing Falun Gong practitioners who pursue, as we see, truthfulness, compassion, and tolerance. And these are principles that are the antithesis of what China's thuggish rulers stand for. Falun Gong adherents have been systematically arrested, tortured, sent to forced labor camps for re-education, placed in mental institutions for brainwashing, and subjected to organ harvesting. Since 2001, some 65,000 Falun Gong followers have been murdered. And to this day, hundreds of thousands are in labor camps. The peaceful men and women of Falun Gong are among the largest groups of prisoners of conscience in the world. And these egregious human rights abuses serve as a reminder of the length and the depth that the cruel men in Beijing will go to in order to retain their bloody grip on power. Their actions represent a wanton disregard for the mental, fundamental human right to life. The cowards in Beijing are so scared of Falun Gong's peaceful teachings that their internet censors have blocked Chinese citizens from searching for it or even discussing it in web chats or via a email. This loathsome persecution of Falun Gong must stop and it must stop now. At a time when China is seeking to cement its place as a global power, it is essential that the people of China continue their struggle for democracy and their struggle for human rights. It is important that our friends and supporters of democracy and human rights continue to show their solidarity and continue to show their support by speaking out against these abuses and by embracing such courageous figures of conscience as the Dalai Lama. China's rise as a global power has made people hesitant to criticize the regime. These individuals and these countries and these entities, they fear the economic repercussions from the thugs in Beijing. So it is up to you and it is up to me, ladies and gentlemen. It is up to the United States, the world's superpower, a symbol of liberty, of freedom, of democracy, of human rights. It is up to the United States to confront the immoral, communist leadership in Beijing and speak out 
on behalf of human rights, the human rights of the people of China, the human rights of the practitioners and followers of the Falun Gong in China, and speak out so that no more will be persecuted and prosecuted. And for this reason, last month I joined Congressman Robert Andrews in introducing House Resolution 281, which recognizes the continued persecution of Falun Gong practitioners and other prisoners of conscience in China. It is our responsibility to continue to be that shining city on the hill, that beacon of freedom, that beacon of liberty, that beacon of hope for the entire world to see. America must stand with the Falun Gong. America must stand with the people who are repressed throughout the world. I commend you for being here. Drink plenty of water. Stay hydrated. Thank you very much. Muchísimas gracias.